Now I am very excited about this video because not only is it my first unboxing video since I believe it was my Halloween 4K unboxing, the Steelbook. These two items I have in my possession right now, I never thought I would own in my Halloween collection, like ever. I've seen them in other Halloween collection videos and I was like, Horror Universe, you're never ever going to own these items. But I came across them on eBay for a very good price. You can probably already see from the bubble wrap there what they are. But um, I've been hunting these down for a number of years. You've probably seen these in the past. But um, they are very nice additions. And they're in such good condition. And that is, of course, the Halloween 4 and Halloween 5 Anchor Bay Limited Edition Tins. Yes, I finally own these beauties in my Halloween collection. And they are just absolutely stunning. Now, for the two, I paid 70 quid for both of these together. I think that's an absolute bargain for something like this because I've seen them go for like much more than that. So let's move the Halloween 5 tin out of the way and take a look at the Halloween 4 tin. Of course it has the Halloween 4 logo, the return of Michael Myers, the iconic uh, mask there and the Myers house. Round the side it has Halloween 4. And around the back, it basically tells you what number you got. And I got 12555 out of 40,000. Um, so this has a widescreen presentation, enchanted for 16 by 9 TVs, Dolby surround sound 5.1, Halloween 4 final cuts, an all new 17 minute documentary produced and directed by uh, Mark. I'm not even going to uh, attempt to pronounce the second name. Theatrical trailer and full colour 5x7 booklet. Okay. Interesting. So, um, here's the thing. And I presume this is what I meant by that. So it's like a little poster of Halloween 4 there. And the chapter selections that's a very nice image of Michael Myers there it's like a little write-up on the history of it basically and of course here we have the DVD which is in an interesting um, CD case I've never seen that before um, but yeah that's the actual DVD itself so it's pretty um, straightforward but the actual icing on the cake, of course, is the Anchor Bay uh, tin, which looks very nice. And, of course, I was able to track down, at the exact same time, the Halloween 5, the Revenge of Michael Myers, because, of course, it came as a pack. So, here we have the Halloween 5 limited edition tin. I believe this one's actually less numbered than Halloween 4. So there is the side, if my camera can... No, are you going to not focus today? There we go. <laughs> okay, so on the back there, Howling 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Yeah, this is limited to 15,000 and that one was 40,000. So, and I got number 04170. Now this features, of course, widescreen presentation, enchanted for 16 by 9 TVs, full frame presentation, theatrical trailer, introduction by stars Daniel Harris and Ellie Cornell, inside Halloween 5 documentary featuring rare behind the scenes footage, a cut scene and interviews with Daniel Harris and Ellie Cornell, exec executive producer Mustafa Akkad, um, cinematography Rob Dribbler and Don Shanks. 
who played Michael Myers. I hope I didn't butcher that. <laughs> and then you've got a nice image of Michael right by there. And of course let's open it up and take a look inside. Now one thing that's interesting about the Halloween 5 limited edition tin compared to the Halloween 4 one is that it has this um, behind the scenes booklet. Now I'm not sure why they gave this to the Halloween 5 tin and not Halloween 4 but if we just take a quick little glance there we have some nice behind the scenes of Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Um, I'm not going to go through all these, but you, you'll get the basic ideas. Nice Halloween memorabilia right by there. And of course, you've got like this chapter poster thing. The exact same as the Halloween 4 tin. And the CD inside of the tin. Again, a very interesting choice, if I'm going to be completely honest. It's just a simple case, you know, uh, nothing too crazy. But um, very, very nice, nevertheless. And I paid about 70 quid for the two of these. And considering their condition, like these are practically brand new like they don't look like they've ever been touched or you know scratched or anything so i respect that very much and these are just some nice um i don't know just nice halloween memorabilia because i've wanted these for years now and i remember when i used to watch the halloween dvd collection videos and i used to be like there is no way I am ever going to be owning these two steel tins in my Halloween collection. But here we are, 2024, I finally own the limited edition Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, and Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, Anchor Bay tins. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, the only thing I find weird about these tins is that Halloween 5 has a booklet and Halloween 4 does not. Don't know why. Maybe there was some sort of licensing issue between two movies. I don't know. Uh, if you guys know the full story with that, please let me know in the comments below. But other than that, they are very nice and a very happy Halloween fan right by here. So, I do have another unboxing planned between now and March. And that will kickstart my Halloween VHS collection. I've sort of spoken about it on the community tabs uh, here and there. But those will be very fun to unbox. And uh, yeah, I shall see you all next time. Peace.